Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough, and I'm talking about personal branding today. I'm going to talk about transferable skills. This is all about what you bring to the party. So if you want to learn what you bring to the party, transferable skills, stay tuned. Transferable skills, what does that mean? Well, maybe many of you have taken tests like the DISC. Maybe you've taken some personality tests and you know what your strengths are. Maybe you found out that you're a maximizer or maybe you're an innovator or you're a great communicator. And those are fabulous and those are wonderful skills. But I'm not talking about those today. In branding, it's about how we make people feel. It's about how we attract and how we are influencers. And we have a personal brand, whether we have a career and we're working for an organization or we have a business for ourselves. So today we're going to talk about these transferable skills. So I want you to think back. For some of you that have had several jobs in your lifetime, this might be easy for you. For some of you beginners, some of you Gen Zs, and maybe some of you even younger millennials, you may have only had one job. But I want you to think back, even when you were a kid, maybe working for your dad or someone else, what was it that you did that people enjoyed? What was it that you did that made people interested in you or even created action? What was it? So I had to think back. So my business really began, even though I have a degree in library science, uh, I opened some retail stores here in Houston. And when I became a speaker, all I really was thinking about in the beginning was what business tips could I help people with that I learned from, from my retail business. But that wasn't the magic sauce. That wasn't the secret of my success. So I thought back to what was it that I did in those stores that brought people in and that made things very exciting. And a lot of it was the way I treated the customers. I love the customers. And when I hear that bell ring, I would run out. I would talk to everyone. Sometimes they would bring their mom when she was traveling to the city into the store or they'd bring their kids in. And I got excited building relationships with customers that we kept for almost 20 years. The second thing that I did was I loved events. And so I took my store out on the runway. And I did events for every organization that wanted one. I ran fashion shows and I did a great job. And at those shows, I met more people and more customers and they came to the store and it was a great cycle. The other thing that I did was I wanted excitement in the stores. You can tell I'm not a very boring person and I get I get bored easily. So I was always thinking of an event to bring people into the store. So not only was I a retailer, but now I was putting on events. And hey, guess what I do right now for a living? I took all of those skills. Those are called transferable skills. Those are the skills that we don't think about very often when we're thinking about moving to our next career or starting a business. But those are the skills. Those are the skills that brought you success. For me, getting involved in the community was big. And every year we did three and four projects that involved us with the community. And I began to see as a speaker how I needed to do outreach. You see, we can grow our brand in many ways. So today, I want you to think back. Think back to the jobs that you've had. Maybe that first job you had. What did you love about that job? What were the things about work that you loved? Because whatever you loved about that work showed, and those could be the skills that you're going to bring with you into the next job or opportunity or business that you create. Hey, guys, I'm Karen McCullough. And what I want you to do today is think about the past. Think about those jobs that you had and think about where you brought success and how you're going to take those skills into the next chapter of your life.